Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before we pray tonight, I want to pass this information across to you that we're going to be meeting the same time we met last night, today. So make sure you are ready. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want someone Amen. who knows what God can do to appreciate God for what God will do in his to our life this evening. Appreciate him in advance for his blessings that he will release to you this evening. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. in jesus mighty name we are praying yeah what the lord said daughter of zion god said to tell someone here thank you jesus Agnes, hear what the Lord say. Hear what Amen. the Lord say. Hear Amen. what the Lord say. Amen. The Lord said there's gonna be a three days fasting and prayer revival at Liberation Mountain. Amen. Oh Lord, call mm. my lost glory. Oh Lord, restore oh, my Lord, lost restore glory. My there's lost gonna be a glory. three days revival. There's gonna be a Amen. three days revival in the month of february at liberation mountain oh lord restore my lost glory oh the lord saying is restoring seven people these Amen. are the people, that, people we ask how are they doing it oh lord restore my lost glory in the month of february there's gonna be a three days revival there's gonna be a three days revival oh lord restore my lost glory amen <laughs> i see the amen. lord coming through for that mountain mightily this year amen. i see amen. the lord coming through for those that are dedicated to that mountain mighty amen. amen i see the lord is free of people and i'm hearing in the realm of the spirit now that people of all of us begin to ask them there is a place where it is happening. I need to get Amen. there. I need Amen. To get there. I Amen. need to get Amen. there. I Amen. need to get there. I decree and declare. As the Lord has spoken, even right from now, people that God has predestined to restore this year, may the host of heaven begin to work on their behalf and in their favor. Amen. 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 in that mountain and has determined that no i will not live until i empty this place may the lord empty the life of that daughter of billiard in the name of jesus christ Amen. Amen. Father, you, your victory Jesus. is solemn in the Thank name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Thank Jesus. you, Thank Thank you Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, wonderful Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before this revival, your family can embark on a seven days. The glory is starting from your family. Amen. I know God might still here. It mm. is starting from your family. Hallelujah. Amen. Before the mountain goes on seven on the three days, your family can have seven days of prayers. You can decide to do it whichever way you want to do it. The Lord is not giving me a specific instruction on how to carry out the prayer. You might decide to fast and pray for seven days, not marathon. You might decide to fast morning till evening and have a session of prayer. You might decide that it can be all night. 
Maybe you want to wake up one hour in the middle of the night every day for seven days to pray for your family. In the Amen. name of Jesus, those that have spoken against you behind your back, they will come back and apologize to you. Some of them will expose themselves by themselves in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank and you, Lord, I Father. thank you. Hear what the Lord said, liberation grace shall be great. Amen. Amen. I'm happy to hear this. Yes. Liberation grace is becoming the talk of the town for good Amen. things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Liberation grace is becoming the happening place for good things. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank, thank you, you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The last day to tell you, woman, that I don't know how soon this is going to be. Somebody is going to come and say, I want to move to Canada. The Lord said to tell you, don't discourage the person because the Lord is sending that person ahead there mm. to go and do something for liberation grace. Amen. Amen. Don't discourage Amen. the person. Oh, yes. Did anybody come to you already? Not yet. Please make sure you bear that in mind. Don't discourage that person. Amen. Don't discourage that person. Your victory is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let everyone just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Destiny. I don't know if destiny is connected. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She's here. Destiny, hear yes, what the Lord you. say. Yes, there is a job that they will call you for. This job is to take care of an elderly person. Okay. Don't reject it. Wow. The job is to connect you to a helper. Amen. The people that rejected you before. Yes, ma'am. The people that say, give us our child and go. Yes, ma'am. People that try to collect what belongs to you from you. Yes, ma'am. They will see you and say, ah, why did we send her away? Why did we reject her? Amen. 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 The Lord is bringing this job just to connect you to an helper. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirits a white family. You know, let me share this testimony. Amen. One of our daughters from Cameroon, a word like this came for her in December, I think. That there is going to be a job. They are going to call her for a job. She just got to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And she was actually having issues with getting paper. her papers done. Mm -hmm. But when the Lord was speaking about the fact that the paper will be 
handled easily. The Lord also spoke that they are going to call her for a particular job. And to the glory of God, was it the second morning or maybe the second day after the word was released to her from God, she came on moment of encounter and she said, they called her for that job immediately after the word was released. Amen. And so a lot of you Amen. heard the testimony when she was sharing it. Hallelujah. Yes, I yes, pray for you mm-hmm. today. Amen. The Lord that answered her immediately. Amen. The Lord that spoke and fulfilled it to her immediately is coming Amen. through for you also in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That same God Amen. is coming Amen. for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray for everyone who is looking Amen. up to God for something very important. The God that answers immediately comes true for you in the name of Jesus. From the book of 2 Samuel chapter 9. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the blessings. Lord, we are grateful for your many blessings in each session. Lord, we are here again today. As I take the stage, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit that is not of God. Witchcraft spirits will bind you, will destroy your powers. Marine spirits will bind you, will destroy your powers. Familiar spirits will bind you, will destroy your powers. Spirits that cause confusion will bind you, will destroy your powers in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of truth. Take control. Thank you, faithful Father. At the end, the glory belongs to you alone. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 9 is where we are praying for from this evening. Let me quickly share this with you so that you can know how to pray very well this evening. Yes. The book of Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 26 says, For among my people there are wicked men. Mm. Among the so-called people of God, there are agents of darkness. Mm-hmm. Among the so-called children of God, among the so-called church goers, there are wicked men. Among the so-called, whatever you want to call them, there are wicked men. Also, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 36, says something. It says, For the enemy of a man shall be the poor of his household. Sometimes in the year 2020, in Cyprus, there were two people in our church. Are you listening? Yes, yes, ma'am. There were two people. Both of them were men. One was in the workforce. The other was a very dedicated person. And the Lord revealed to me, call this brother, call this other brother, tell this brother, don't do any business with this brother. There are two of them in the church, brothers. And the Lord said, call brother A and call brother B. Tell brother A not to do business with brother B. If you allow anything to distract you this evening, I don't know what to say to you. Please, I want you to stay focused tonight. Oh, yes. Call Brother Hay and Brother B. Tell Brother Hay yeah. not to do business with Brother B. Brother A and Brother B were members of our church. I called Brother Hay separately. Brother Hay, the Lord said to tell you, don't do business with Brother B so that Brother B don't will not put you in trouble. I called Brother B and I said, the Lord said you should not do business with Brother Hay so that you don't get in trouble. One Saturday, I was cleaning the church. Brother A was with me in the church, or Brother B was in, with, with me in the church. Brother B called me, Mama, where are you? And I told Brother B, I'm in the church. I'm cleaning. Brother B came to the church. Brother Hay was with me. I brought the two of them together and I spoke to them. Brother Hay and Brother B, don't do business with each other. 2020 passed, there was nothing. 
2021, there was nothing. Now in 2022, Brother B, Brother A said one day, he met Brother B, and Brother B introduced a business to him. Hmm. How did it happen? I was my, my husband and I and the kids were driving, we we're going out one day, and in the car, the law revealed to me that Brother A just lost about 60,000 hmm. pounds. And I touched the pastor, I said, Pastor, your son just lost this amount of money. It didn't, Pastor, we didn't take it very serious. We went where we were going. We went where we were going. After that day, we had Bible study. After the Bible study, Brother B called me and said, Ah, Brother A hey, lost about 60,000 pounds to a particular business. So I called Brother B, A, hey, and I asked. They said you lost a particular amount of money. And the Holy Spirit even revealed to me before they told me. He said it's true. And I said, Okay, I want to see you. He came to the church to see me. He came to see me in church. When he came, I asked him, How did it happen? He said something. He said it was Brother B that introduced me to a business. Don't forget, Brother B, after I got it from the Holy Spirit that he lost about 60,000 pounds, Brother B was the one that informed me that he lost money. I asked him, How did it happen? He said, Ah, he did more business like that. He never told me that he was the one that introduced him to the business. This is the wickedness of the art of men. Yeah. Like it was like joke. It was like joke. It was like joke. I said, okay, the Lord will replenish yours. The Lord will restore you. It's disobedience. Yeah. I said, how did you lose the money? He said, ah, it was Brother P that introduced me to the business. And I, I told you in 2020 that the Lord told me to tell you, don't do business with Brother B. Why did you not inform me before going to do this thing? He said, Mama, I forgot. Hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Oh, yes. The, long story short, the business that Brother A did with the business with Brother B was what led to the deportation of Brother A. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Brother A. Hey. <laughs> disobeyed the instruction of the holy spirit of course probably he forgot as he said but brother b was wicked enough to introduce yep. a mm -hmm. fellow church member to a business after instruction was given when mm -hmm. the loss of the money happened he did as if he never mm -hmm. knew anything about no, it yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the person that introduced brother b is still enjoying his life in that country <laughs> That his fellow brother was deported. Among my people are wicked men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided to give this story. You know, sometimes when you go against instructions from the Holy Spirit, God may not be able to help you. Please be careful. The Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we read the book of Second Samuel chapter 9 this evening, you will know how to pray. I'm going to read from the King James Version, and I want everyone to follow me. It's possible that you will get one or two things from there. Do you think that everyone that is saying they are pitying you in that condition, they want to show you the way to get out of that problem? Do you think all of them is uh, all of them are happy? Do you think there are not some of them that are happy that you are in that situation? Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 9 verse 1. And David said, Is there yet any left in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba. 
<laughs> I prophesy concerning you this evening. Amen. Anyone mm. standing in your life as Ziba, mm. speaking oh, yes. against you in places where you mm. are supposed to find help, mm. the Lord shall bring them down before you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. According to the order of Ziba, how God dealt with Ziba, the Lord shall deal with them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And there was of the house of Saul, of the house of Saul, a servant whose name was Ziba. And when he, they had called him unto David, the king said unto him, Are thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is he. And the king said, Is there yet, is there you know yet any of the house of Saul? Listen to the question again. The question was the same that David asked in verse 1. In verse 1, he said, And David said, Is there yet any that is left in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? That was the simple question. Now, in verse 3, the same question was repeated. And the king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness of God? That I may show the kindness of God unto him? That was the simple question. Listen to what Ziba said. And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan had yet a son. Don't forget that Jonathan was the bosom friend of David in his lifetime. Mm. Before Jonathan went and perished with his father, Jonathan was very close to, to David. Before Jonathan followed Saul to perish. And Ziba said to the king, Jonathan had yet a son. Who is lame in defeat? Who has him? The simple answer should have been yes, there is yes, someone is mm -hmm. who is the son of that your close friend. But Ziba was so fast to express the disability of Mephibosheth to David in order to hinder the blessing that was supposed to come to him. Anyone representing Ziba in your place of work, they are saying Fire. they want to promote you. They are saying you are the one that fits that position. And there is someone who has the spirit of Ziba saying no, <laughs> she comes to let you work. Saying no, we cannot trust her with money. Saying no, she's not a child of God. May the Lord silence them in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> and the king said unto him, Where is he? Normally, people that are lame, people with disabilities, are not supposed to come to the king. But you know, when God is at work in the life of a man, when the mercy of God is at work in the life of a man, protocols are broken. Amen. I pray for you for your sake. Amen. Protocols shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Start your promotion to come to you. Things Amen. that are law are no. If I fall into that category, I won't be able to forget that blessing. Those protocols yeah. shall be broken for your sake in the name yeah. of Jesus. Amen. 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 And the king said unto him, Where is he? Listen, and Ziba yeah, said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Mahir, the son of Amiel in Lodeba. <laughs> Verse 5 Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Mahir the son of Amiel from Lodeba. Now, when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was called unto David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake. And I will restore thee all the land of Saul your father. Amen. And shall eat bread at my table continually. Amen. Eight, and he bowed himself and said, What is thy servant that thou should look at look upon him upon such a dead dog as I am? Verse 9. Then the king called to Ziba, Saul's servant, and said unto him, Listen to what listen to the punishment that Ziba received 
from God. Listen to the judgment of God upon Ziba. The same way the Lord dealt with Ziba, this year God will deal with those that are speaking against you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Verse 8, verse 9. And the king called, then the king called to Ziba, Saul's servant, and said unto him, I have given unto thy master's son all that pertain to Saul and all to his daughter and to all his household. Verse 10. Thou therefore and thy sons. <laughs> the punishment of God that is coming upon your enemies will not land upon their head. Alone. It will land upon their children's head in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If Amen. your amen is loud this evening, that blessing is for you. Amen. 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 It says, Thou therefore and thy son and thy servants shall till the land for him, and thou shalt bring him in the fruit that thy master's son may have food. But Mephibosheth, thy master's son, shall eat bread always at my table. Look at it. Now Ziba yeah. has 15 sons and 20 servants. A servant having 20 servants. Wicked people everywhere. Look at the answer of Ziba. Then Ziba said unto the king, According to all thy, that my lord the king has commanded to his servant, so shall thy servant do. As for Mephibosheth, said the king, he shall eat at my table as one of the king's son. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray for you this evening. Those that are speaking against you, the Lord shall relegate them. They shall be under your feet in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. One of our sisters, I think Sister Fortula Rita, shared a testimony some times ago that they were planning to lay, to the glory of God, she's on this platform this evening. They were planning to lay people up in a place of work. And somebody went and started spoiling her to her boss they can lay her off and you know what god did to that person that he person that was spoiling her was the one that was sent away amen i pray for you i receive if you have a very loud amen this evening amen anyone that is talking against you to hinder your blessings the lord shall expose disgrace them disgrace their house destroy them amen. in the name of Jesus amen amen, amen. 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 Jeremiah 5 26 among my people are wicked men mm. the brothers of Joseph were his siblings he had dreams and he told them if Joseph prosper, his brothers will eat from the prosperity. But the Bible recorded that they conspired against him. He was actually coming to check on them. But when they saw him from afar, they said, look, the dreamer is coming. <laughs> come now, dear Paul, let's live and see how that dream will come to accomplishment. Anyone that is angry with you because a goodness wants to come to you, Anyone that is looking for your downfall because they know that you are due for a particular blessing, they shall fall down flat before you and not, never be able to rise again in the name of Jesus. Let the heaven of answer be opened upon my head. <laughs> Let the heaven of answer be opened upon me tonight. As I pray in the Lord, let the heaven of answer be opened upon me. As I pray to you, let the heaven of answer be opened upon me. Let the heaven of answer be opened upon me. Thank you. 
I 
Sick, 
Amen. Before that, my that's my Bridget is my brother. Bridget is my brother's wife. Is, is someone speaking? Is Zita speaking? Stephanie. Who is Stephanie. speaking? Do you have one speaking? Can you wave your hands a little? I'm the one. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Please, can you speak up? Do you okay. know that person? Yes, ma'am. Bridget is the wife to my brother, my younger brother's wife. Her name is Bridget Aonduna. Aonduna. All right. Yes. I'm hearing so I heard something faint. Not I, I can't speak it. Before that donor, there was something. But I'm still not in the realm of the spirit, the letter hey. The letter hey. hey. Yes, that's Aonduna. Aonduna. It's a tribal name. That's why you can't pronounce it, ma'am. I heard, I heard something faint, something faint, but then I saw the letter H. What that don't Yes, ma, you are, you are, you are right. You are correct. I speak to the ears of God tonight. Amen. Yes, amen. For Bridget and Donna. Where yes. they are supposed to receive help, that person standing saying they want 
allow the son of David. <laughs> this is what I hear. <laughs> They will not allow the son of David to find this help. In the name of Jesus, that person spearheading that wickedness goes down six feet under. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit a plot of land. This, this place is more than a plot. And I'm hearing arguments. Okay. Argument. Mm. Argument. What do you have, what do you know about that we will not allow the sons of david who is david david is my late father thank you jesus thank you lord hallelujah mm -hmm. thank you jesus what's thank the jesus. argument what's the well, argument um my father died and left some properties and uh, my father have my mom and my stepmother and my stepmother is the younger wife but uh, she's the one that wants to sell sell everything and all of that so my mother is on the quiet side but she's the one that is doing so many things so she has been actually doing fishy fishy deals so we've been suspecting her because she brought in something, I think last week, to one particular cloth that in our land, when someone brings that kind of cloth, it's not really a cloth as in a physical cloth that everybody knows. It feels as if it's a witchcraft activity tied to the thing, sort of. So they, uh, there are some arguments here and there. Yes, I want this family. Why am I seeing a little baby? A, li a little baby in the family i'm seeing a little baby look i'm seeing a woman now i'm seeing a woman now not very tall but not short a yes and the lord is saying this is bridget but i'm seeing a baby now put in a particular place and this bridget standing a little bit far from the baby yes she she has been trying to conceive <laughs> Mm. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> whatever is standing between bridget and her testimony i'm seeing this person standing separate a little bit far from the little baby in the name of jesus that thing is removed tonight amen amen, amen. amen. oh you, the last year they spoke about hormones and they spoke yeah. about things in the womb yes but the Lord is saying to tell you that the things in the womb will not stop the baby boy from coming. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Thank Thank you, you Father. God. Thank you, Jesus. They are making moves to go to the hospital to remove some things. Please tell them not to. Okay. Okay. The baby is coming this year. Amen. 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 The baby is coming this year. Amen. 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 The baby is coming this year. Amen. Amen. The baby is coming this year. Hear what the Lord The Lord said to tell you that everybody should be quiet about the property things. But there is a particular okay. land. Yes. What I'm seeing is more than a plot. Okay. What I'm seeing is, well, what I'm seeing now, the place I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit is bigger than what I know to be a plot. Okay. Don't so keep quiet. By themselves, they will leave the properties alone. Amen. Amen. Most of them will begin to pursue them from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Most of heaven will begin to pursue them from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because of heaven will begin to pursue them from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is going to pray for you. Amen. Okay. The Lord is telling me now that somebody collected a cloth, and I'm seeing color green. I'm seeing color green. This is not light green. This is not lemon green. This is a bit deep green color. And the Lord is saying oh, to tell me that on your wedding somebody collected a green color cloth 
that she wants to use it for herself and then she removed part of it and took it somewhere what they mm. did to use against you shall begin to work against them from today in the name of jesus amen amen, amen. What amen. Do you have to do with that color green the, the color green was one of my wedding colors amen wow. on my wedding day i used a burnt orange i used ash and the uh, green and it was deep green i used those were the colors of my wedding jesus 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 jesus, jesus. Now they are speaking, they are speaking to your husband, family members. Mm. <laughs> you are right, ma. They are speaking to your husband's family members. This prayer is for you. People that say they know you too well and they want to spoil you, to send you out of that house. May the Lord send them out of the earth in the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. And amen. But the man is just calm. Yes, he is. He's just calm. He is. As this a matter of fact, saying... yesterday he told me that so how far now that like, we should try and uh, look into the direction of IVF. But I was telling him that me, I'm tired. Oshie. We have a failed procedure just December. And then now that there's no money, so many troubles here and there. And then he said, um, but me, I just need to, if I have one child now, so many people will allow me to have. He's just one, just, even if it's just one child. The Lord that answered Esther and gave her two baby boys after 10 years of waiting and 10 IVFs will answer you and give you double in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Lord that answered the sister of Daniel and gave her a boy and a girl after eight years of waiting, still on this platform, will answer you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Amen. Yes. Amen. Leave the matter of the property alone. Thank you, Jesus. They will leave it alone by themselves. Amen. Amen. That donor is supposed to receive help somewhere. Okay. And see the place like a university environment. Okay. But then the Lord says somebody has gone ahead to spoil oh. him there. Huh. They said he doesn't he doesn't listen. These are the things I'm hearing. He's yes. stubborn. He will fight you. He will do this. He doesn't mm. listen. Mm. Somebody was hmm. trying to fight for what belonged to him and they charged him evil because of that. Yes, yes, mm. yes. He even had a court case with one guy that ate his money during his wedding and so many things have been cropping up since then. They tied him they tagged him a bad person because he was trying to fight for his things. Have you ever discussed any of these things with me? Ma, not at have all. You ever, have you ever nothing. to me before? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It is the Lord speaking through you, ma'am. This is Hallelujah. what the Lord can do. Let me tell really? you that really? he has to do these things. He I wants to give you to have victory. I Amen. Amen. For you today. Your victory is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I Your believe. I believe. Confirmed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I believe. Your I believe. victory is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I believe. All right. I believe. Let's wait and let this kidnapping and kidnapping issue go down. I want to see you. I would like to see you. Okay. Those that have mocked you that you are an empty barrel they will come and eat in your naming ceremony amen amen amen, amen. 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 you know amen. when the world came for glory at that year that those that say you will never be able to get together with your husband they will mm. see your wedding clothes and they will cover their face with shame she yes. was looking like this and in less than the Lord said in three from now and three between now and three months, it will be settled. And it's just one month after the wedding happened. Receive your testimony now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen
Amen. 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 I receive. I receive. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why God tell you to get closer to him. Be more dedicated to him. Okay. I heard something funny now. Leave preparity alone. Focus on God. The Lord said it's not just coming true for you in one aspect. He says it's coming true for you, relocation wise. I don't know. There is something they want to introduce to your husband. Okay. There is something they want to introduce to your husband, and it comes with relocation. Okay. okay. I don't know if they have introduced it already. No. He's just, it is they are just trying to. <laughs> it is coming true. It is coming to pass very soon. Amen. The relocation is going to be possible. Amen. All right, let me just, as the Lord said, to wait when the time comes. He will not go alone and leave you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. My, there's instruction you gave me that I want to confirm that the Lord is telling me to leave what alone. I didn't get that. Leave preferity alone. Okay. Maybe you okay. are too focused on the things of the world than God. Okay. okay. Maybe you are too focused on the things on, on the things that are trending than on God. Okay. Focus on God. Your okay. victory is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 Jesus. Bring me out of Lodeba. Bring, bring, bring me out, out of Lodeba. Lodeba is the place of suffering. Lodeba is the place of not enough. Lodeba is the place of not having what belongs to one. Mephibosheth was in Lodeba. And his properties, the things that were being eaten. But when you come out of Lodeba, you begin to possess your possession. Amen. After Mephibosheth came out of Lodeba, after he left Mahi's house in Lodeba, after he got to the palace, all his properties, all the things that were supposed to be given to him was given to him in one day. Amen. Oh, Lord, my father. Oh, Lord, my Lord, my father. Bring me out of Lodeba. Ela 
Lord, thank you, Jesus. You are going to pray this prayer lastly tonight before we go into other things. The Bible recorded in verse 10 the king spoke to Ziba, the one that was trying to hinder the blessing of Mephibosheth. It says, You therefore and your sons and your servants shall see the land from Mephibosheth and shall bring in food for him. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, oh my Father. Whether physically, whether spiritually, those that have hindered my blessing this far, when I have hindered my blessing this far, in the my prosperity this far. Those <laughs> that have been that my prosperity, my prosperity this far. This far. This far. For my going through. Those that are responsible for destruction come upon them and their children. And the judgment of the choice of such come upon the destruction of the children come upon them and their children. Those that are responsible I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. So, we are so lackadaisical Amen. about that prayer. We are. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let destruction come upon them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those are the that you are here. The name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus I had the testimony of a brother. He applied for a job somewhere. The Bi don't forget the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. I want to read from the King James Version this evening. I want to read from the King James Version this evening. Please. 
Make sure you are connected. The King James Version says, and a man's soul shall be shall, shall be there of his own household. Another version said, the enemy of a person are people of his household. This brother applied for a job somewhere. He has an uncle who is doing well, who can be used as reference. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, you want to apply for a job in a university, sometimes you use your lecturers that have taught you before as reference. Sometimes you use people that you worked together before as reference, people that know you. This person has a very good uncle, and he uncle as reference. In other words, he wrote the number of his uncle down and say, if you want to know more about me, that I am fit for this job, contact my uncle they called his uncle and his uncle told them don't forget this brother is a very good brother. his uncle told them he's a thief he would destroy your company don't and those people reached out to him and said we contacted your uncle and he told us this this about you so we can't give you the job this brother has never stolen anything from his uncle before. He has never stolen before. Some mm. people are doing as if they love you, but they are spoiling you before behind your back. I pray mm. for you today. Anyone you doing see. that against you, the Lord judge them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 For the next one minute, you're going to say that prayer again. Anyone that knows me too well, Spoiling me in places where I'm supposed to be. Spoiling me in Anyone that knows you too well, injure your blessings, the Lord disgrace and destroy them and their household in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone close to selling you out to outside enemies, the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Possess your possessions in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. But you've not been able to get because you have been residing in Lodeba. Because you have left Lodeba today, go and get what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father, because you have answered. You, Jesus. In Jesus' you, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. By the grace Amen. of God, tonight at 12 a.m. Nigerian time, 12 a.m. Uh, West African time, we are meeting here with our bottle of oil. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. For those Amen. that have been joining us today, get your new bottle of oil, your new bottle of oil. Don't open it. Don't bring it like that. The Lord give you victory on all sides in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, Amen. You, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We turn out the glory for tonight. We will be exalted forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. We, the family members, are saying that forever you will be our God. Lord, that the blessings we have received tonight is permanent upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 